Hi everyone, how is it going? Back again with me, your one and only Princess Touch It Jupiter with a new video. For this video, you're going to find out what compliments do people give you behind your back. Alright guys, now in front of you there are three beautiful pictures or images. Using your intuition, please choose an image that comes into your mind. Now I highly recommend you to also watch other groups for your own additional messages. I'll see you on your reading. Hello group number one, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Taichi Jupiter. So you're picking group number one, what compliments do people give you behind your back? Um, right off the bat, based on the image that you pick, um, I feel that people compliments um, people compliments how you are very unique and very colorful. Some of you probably identify yourself as an LGBTQ community. Um, other than that, I feel that there's this balanced energy between um, your sun sign and your moon sign as we see the picture of the sun and the moon at the same time um, in the image that you pick, group number one. Um, please find out your sun sign and your moon sign and the combination of your sun sign and moon sign truly are just so unique that people find you to be very interesting you know what i mean um another thing is uh people compliments the way you express yourself you're someone that is uh, you know really know how to express yourself in a very interesting way colorful fun you know you got that vibes uh fun vibes and very um you know chic um and very very fun in a fun way another thing that i pay attention is the snake picture um in the image that you pick the snake is a symbol of spirituality and your intelligent side people compliments how you are um you know someone that is very intuitive some of you might have snake as your chinese zodiac that's possible all right snake also symbolize how you are in touch with your your desire you know or with your earthly desire and how you truly living you know uh, by being stay true to yourself being honest with what you want to have in life and pursuing your desire and trying every day to enjoy your life there's also flowers there and you know it symbolizes your growth and blooming energy people compliments that they see you as a blooming person you know you got that bright sunny blooming um another thing you might love wearing flower patterns clothes or you love gardening um you know or you love visiting like botanical gardens something like that people compliments how your presence in their life is just like flowers you bring colors you bring uh blooms energy um, and people kind of like your overall energy, all right? Um, they also compliment your nails. Maybe you get your nails done, your hair, and your makeup. Like your overall presence is truly are being honest with who you are as a person. And it just you're just having that colorful personalities, all right? Group number one. Please tap me to the energy of group number one. What compliments do people give you behind your back? All right, you have here house six, establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. And also you got flowers here. With the house six here, people compliments how you are someone that really know how to take care of your home, take care of your place, take care of your family. You are someone that really good in a routine or you can find routine to be very uh, you know, beneficial for you. You love organize uh, something. You are a very organized person or you just love organizing an event or you work as an event organizer or someone that people trusted to create event pluto with pluto and house six is it possible that your house six is in um pluto yeah your pluto um another thing that i pay attention is um people secretly like and compliments you behind your back they compliments 
how you are someone that not afraid of change you're very adaptable all right yes you're slow to change but you're not afraid of it you're very adaptable um and your whole transformation from long time ago until now that's something that people find it to be in a positive side so this is the people that might knew you in the past long time ago because it created some sort of connection between you and them that they truly see how far you've already come you have here house and nine house nine is the spiritual growth people compliments how you are very spirituality um people also compliments how you're very intuitive it seems like you know um you're someone with a great connection with your spirituality you will find more power you will find um you know more balance in life by also taking care of your spiritual growth people compliments that about you Please tap into the energy of group number one. What compliments do people give you behind your back? You have the owl and hope. And you have the cat and lavender. It's very interesting. All right. With the owl and hope, owls are closely associated with Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom, known for their nocturnal vision. Owls represent knowledge and erudition with a hint of mystery. People compliment your brain when you help them uh, solve problems. Uh, sometimes your friends or acquaintances came to you, uh, come to you and tell you their problems. You help them figure things out. You know, you are a great problem solver. You're also someone that, you know, offering your insight to people if they need it. Um, but there's this air of mystery around you that people cannot guess sometimes. Um, they find you to be still very interesting with a lot of mystery as well. And the hope is an impressive plan, able to climb up to 20 feet in a single growing season. Combined, the pair indicates spiritual and intellectual fulfillment. People compliments how you are one of the rare people that know how to fulfill your spirituality and intellectual pursuit in this lifetime. Some of you might be a great student or you really care about the knowledge that you have. You really care about the information that you want to get in each occasion. It seems like you need to have um, enough information before making decision. People compliments that you are very knowledgeable, um, that you are deep you know very dependable related to knowledge and very wise beyond your years people also compliments that you know you are able to climb the ladder of success and keep climbing it now these people might truly see how you were in past life or how you were a long time ago compared to how is your life right now you know what i mean they truly see that pluto energy that transformation really a uh, big transformation happened in your life and people compliments of how you be able to climb or change the transformation and change your life maybe from the spiritual side but also from the domestic life you know how you establishing a foundation, how you try to uh, support yourself and support your family, how you really care about practical details. We're talking about work, we're talking about uh, family chores, you know, assignments and something like that, or a school in general, or even how you grow as a person, either spiritually or professionally or personally. The cat and lavender. This is a very cute animal spirit. Um, the cats are cunning, clever, and independent. People compliments how your mindset is very independent. The way you think is very independent. Um, you are independent seeker. You are freedom lovers. You know, you're very intelligent as well. And you know how to rely on yourself. So you represent self-reliance. So that's what people compliment as well. 
about you behind your back. While lavender scent brings soothing comfort, its Victorian association with distrust reminds us to look inward, relying on our own instinct and inner resources. You can seek your full potential without depending on validation from others. Power, resourcefulness, and potential are key words to remember. People compliments about your power. Uh, you truly have that power in the presence, um, you know, of yourself when you come into people's life, and you know, you leaving this lasting you know, impact, you got that lasting effect in people's life. People kind of like, like the way you move, the way you carry yourself is very independent. You don't depend on the clique. You don't depend on the gang. You don't depend on the girls. You know what I mean? You don't need that validation of a gang or look like you know a lot of people. You don't need that. You're pretty independent. And it seems like, you know, when your enemy or the people that, um, didn't like you, you know, tried to bring you down or make you feel insecure about that kind of things. It just didn't work at you. You know, it just didn't work that for you because you know your value, you know what you bring to the table, you know your contribution, and you are a peaceful person. You know what I mean? So if people try to say exclude you from like social events, you're happily not even dealing with them. You're happily not entertaining their drama. And, you know, it makes them realize that it just didn't work like that for you. You know what I mean? It's just old games, you know, different clowns, but like, it's just old drama that you didn't ha do it anymore, or you never done that, or you just not interested in pursuing that kind of things. So you just detach from them, you know, you gain more power by being independent, by being this black cat, and you know, know your value and you know, let yourself shine. You know, let yourself glow, let yourself bloom as the message of your image, like blooming. And people pay attention to you. They want to be like you, but they cannot. All right. And the fact that you're very independent is very um, intimidating to a lot of people because there's no amount of insecurities that they can impose on you because you know that you are independent. Or by the time you need people, most of the time, you know what I mean? Most of the time you can hire people if you know how to take care of yourself. You can just work and have money and hire people, you know, instead of, you know, begging on people mercy that talk bad as HIT behind your back, all right? After they helped you, um, they make it feel like you owe them something, you know what I mean? But it's important to be independent. It's important to take care of yourself and make sure that you secure the back, you secure the finance, you secure the foundation, all right? You start thinking about your future. You start taking responsibility of your own future and take control of your own destiny. Do not put that your destiny in other people's hands, all right? Let's see it here. It's kind of like just, you know, just very interesting to see how everything actually lay out here. Let's move here. What compliments do people give you behind your back? You have a nine of swords. Four of pentacles. The sun. A high priestess. And the devil. Yes, the devil and the snake. The image that you pick, it has a snake in it. The devil and the snake. Some of you might have a very strong Capricorn placement in your birth chart. All right, Capricorn placement here, Saturn in Capricorn. That's possible. Neptune, Uranus in Capricorn. 
Um, another thing that I pay attention with this card is that um, you're not afraid of other people's label on you. You don't even care at this point. You know, I mean, you just want to enjoy your life. You just want to be grateful of your life and enjoy the life that you have right now. You know, that's your way of manifesting. That's like your power of manifesting is by just focusing on yourself and just being thankful, uh, you know, for every day that you've been through. Mm, that's what I see here. Nine of Swords. Um, people compliments that you know you always know how to become a trendsetter or eyes on you. People compliments about your look, the way you walk, the way you carry yourself, the way you talk. Whenever you enter the room, all eyes on you. All right, that's like what also people compliments about you behind your back. The High Priest is here letting me know that people compliments about the way you handle your struggles, the way you overcome a lot of challenges, the way like you are being very responsive of other people's needs. You really know how to calm the storms. You know how to be there for people. You're very spiritual. You're also someone that probably pray or do spiritual practices based on what you believe. It's going to be different for each one of us. Uh, but I feel that, you know, you're being very dedicated and loyal to your spiritual calling all right that's what people compliments behind your back and that's kind of like help in daily life as you balance your worldly pleasure with spirituality and that's like kind of the message of this owl the wisdom that the owls carry and also the independence of the black cat it seems like you know how to be independent in the way you think the way you do your spiritual practices or your religion um Another thing that I see, people compliments that you know how to be the sun even in the darkest moment of your life. You know how to light up the room. You know how to rely more on your sun, right? Uh, remember the picture that you picked? It has sun and a moon picture. As same with this, there is a moon picture and this is the sun card. As this is also another synchronicity from the universe. Thank you, universe. Um, and through this card, I can truly see and tell you that people compliments your vibes, your overall vibes. You're a sunny person. You're someone that love giving to other people. You're very resourceful. Your sun sign is the thing that also people compliments about you. So please find out where's your sun sign located in your birth chart because that's also how people compliments you based on your sun sign and your moon sign with the four of pentacles here people compliments how you are someone that is very secured you look like someone in the privilege or it is privileged to have a life like you or people kind of wants to be like you or you have a life that people find to be very interesting or good overall or you have an ability to change or to transform your life now you are living better than before whatever the situation that you have have you living better than before all right so that's like from the outside that's like what compliments people behind your back all right this is not necessarily defining who you are as a person this is just general reading so please take what resonates but i truly see with the four of pentacles people cannot tell that you know you have a good life you have a better life some of you even dress nice living in a nice house nice neighborhood nice town you got it all it seems like you got it all you have your ducks in a row you know what i mean people wants to enjoy the life that you have or kind of wants that for themselves as well so you're like the source of inspiration for a lot of people they kind of like you know being inspired by your ability to bloom by your ability to be expressive and you know be colorful it doesn't mean that you don't like black and white clothes you can dress black and white but still have that colorful personalities you know how to have fun you know how to bring smile to people and people compliments that also about you behind your back all right group number one that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family if you want to book me for your private reading or to donate to this channel please click the link in the description box below thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye hello group number two welcome back to my channel with me princess touchy jupiter for this video you're going to find out what compliments do people give you behind your back right off the bat uh, you know based on the image that you pick um people compliment you of you know you're someone that is dreamy all right you're very dreamy um you're very uh, pretty or handsome 
Um, another thing also people might complain that they find you to be very lucky, um, you know, or blessed, or someone truly with a good fortune, or someone that has this ability to attract good fortune. Um, there is also elegant style about you, and you know, you're a little bit mysterious, but I feel that, you know, you still know how to be uh, open to people as well. And people kind of like when you shared, um, you know, part of your life with them. You're also um, someone that, you know, have that healing energy. All right. Got that healing, healing energy. People love connecting with you because by connecting with you, they can feel better. So your presence truly make fe people feel better, all right? Now, please tap me to the energy of group number two. What compliments do people give you behind your back? cards here you have here the moon yes it is also look like the picture that you pick right um, you also have here Mars and you have Neptune now surprisingly group number two these three combination of planets here um, um is truly a symbol that you pick as well with the picture that you pick with the image that you pick um i feel like let's start with the moon you know you're just like the goddess of the moon all right luna the goddess of the moon with the moon card here let's start with the moon all right The moon is about, you know, represent a person's emotional nature and obsession. People compliments that you got that look that make people obsessed with you. So you got some people that are obsessed with you, people that secretly admire you, right? Because the moon is something that is, um, you know, hidden. And I feel that um, the moon also has strong feminine energy um, and remind you that you got that enigma or hidden magic that is second to none honestly that's what people compliments about you you got that sexy vibes whatever clothes that you wear there's this a little bit mystery around you and you know you got that um sensuality and very seductive very very seductive very sexy in a very seductive way all right um this is also about someone that is uh an empath so that's what also people compliments about you that you are an empath um and you are someone with a really close connection with your own emotional and mental well-being um you know people compliments how um you know how you are very adaptable and you got that emotional awareness with the people around you you are very caring and someone that really are very intuitive, very responsive to other people's feelings, and you are someone that can truly give that emotional security. People truly feel secured with their connection with you, be it for acquaintances, friendship, work, relationship, online connection, but you have the ability to give secured, a feeling of secured, sense of security, you know, that people can trust you, um, that for some reason you're not gonna uh, disappoint their feeling in the sense that you really are very respectable uh, and really respect people feeling. You're also nurturing. Um, you are someone that really know how to nurture other people and yourself and really are uh, someone with, you know, uh, with this sensitivity and um, you're someone probably with a strong moon in your birth chart so find out please find out where is your moon located in your birth chart because that's very powerful that's what also probably what people compliments about you is your moon placement you are embodying your moon placement in your birth chart um, and you're someone that being dominated with this personality as uh, you know 
um, you got that emotional depth. You know, people can sense that you are a deep thinker, a deep feeler. You're just so deep. You know, your eyes is just very sexy as well, and your lips and your chest area, all right? Like your boobs. All right. Now with the Mars here. Um, you're naturally a go-getter. You're someone that's not afraid to stand up for yourself or to achieve what you want in life. Um, now, another thing that I pay attention with this Mars, Mars is often called the red planet because of its color and it's associated with action conflict and assertiveness people compliments how you are someone that or always take the initiative um, regardless of where's mars located in your birth chart this is also considered as masculine planet so we see this is feminine this is masculine and truly you got that balance or you got uh, a good portion of feminine and a good portion of masculine in your birth chart mars is also associated with qualities like leadership strength ambition determination and physical power i feel that people might compliment um the way you um lead yourself the way you give example so you're leading by giving example you don't have to necessarily have some sort of leadership title authorities you lead the people around you uh, you know unconsciously by giving example and by pursuing what you want in life all right and another thing that i see is that mars is the ruler of energy and you're very sexy you're very spicy hot and sexy that's how i feel uh, about you group number two now with the neptune card here neptune is very dreamy um you know you are very psychic as well this is about dreams and transcend people compliments how your look is very dreamy magical um some of you probably also love astrology or tarot you're very intuitive as well and you got that um siren energy with the neptune here all right some of you might have a very strong a very strong Pisces in your birth chart, either Neptune in Pisces, Neptune in the earth sign, or a Neptune in Capricorn, or even just Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mid Heaven, Jupiter, um, you know, a Venus, you know, some sort of connection with Pisces. Um, that's very interesting. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. Please tap me to the energy of group number two, please. What compliments do people give you behind your back? You have the otter and cat tail. All right, got that there. You got here. The Martin and a foxglove mischief and peace. Let's discuss it one by one with this. Um, the Martin and a foxglove first with mischief. Now, the Martin and foxglove represents the type of a trickster. So, the compliments that people give you behind your back, people sometimes did not expect that you are more than what you let them see in the first time they're meeting you or in the first beginning of relationship you deceive them your looks not even close to what not even close to um to what people judge you, you what you do for a living let's say that you dress like a princess you dress dreamy but then you work for stem you know you work in science um you know your parents with too but you look very youthful you know people sometimes mistaken your age or you know um, they might not think that you are that smart but after talking to you after seeing your posts online after seeing your you know natural interaction and after interact with you for some time they start to see your true colors they start to see the brilliance of your mind they start to see that you are smart witty a quick wit all right someone that really good in exchanging banter you got your own fun energy but you know also how to appear calm you know how to appear elegant you are someone that truly are a trickster in a very entertaining way you know how to entertain people with your story a great storyteller a great singer some of you might have a very good voice to speak or to sing um you have a soothing voice um you also probably known for your own curiosity. So your looks might deceive people, but deep inside your core soul, you are a very curious Martin. You know, your brain um, really need that mind stimulation 
activities and that's what also people might compliment about you you got quick movements and you're someone that you know you gotta get what you want um occasionally you know what i mean if you go after it and most of the time with the mars also here people can tell that you are ambitious even though it being masked by your feminine appearances maybe you don't want to intimidate people the first time they get to know you or the first meeting or the first look so people deceive you based on your look that's what it is that's the martin and you know you're mischievous and foxglove are said to be the homes of fairies you got that fairies look right the way you dress the way you put makeup on or your body posture it's just like fairies um you know you're very cute as well for some of you and for this reason you're associated with riddles and secrecy people might think that you hide more secrets than what you let them see about you because they just probably judge you based on your look and in the end they're surprised you're more than that or it is possible that you are dressed completely different than what you do for a living you know sometimes like that and you embrace that spontaneity um, you're very adventurous as well and i feel that you learn to let go by just embracing your unique side about yourself you let go all the validation from people and you validate yourself and that's where you find your power to fuel your mars ambition group number two and you have here the otter and cat tail um you're very cute you're very funny um the way that you engage with people around you is someone that really know how to bring fun and humor the otter glides through the water with grace and fluidity a beautiful sight to behold the otter's playful swim brings calm and joy to those who witness it people you know compliments the way you light up the room the way you entertain people the way you make other people laugh you know how to motivate people how to comfort people's hearts you're very kind um, and also have that joyful energy and very fun to be around you're very playful you love exchanging banter um you know people love you to be their spouse because you're very playful that's like your energy all right um and you allow yourself to enjoy the peace when you find it the most and in the past you probably struggling a bit to be the strongest person for other people be the stronger person you know be the bigger person but you know with humor um you know we take things easy with fun you can you can basically do it so that's like your secret weapon as well uh people compliments that how you know how to diplomatically um you know handle the situations and get what you want with the mars ambition there or uh, you know with moving forward but um, in a very nice way so unconsciously you make people want to do what you want them to do but it looks like it the idea coming from them but it's actually coming from you mm, that's how i put it like that all right See here, what compliments do people give you behind your back, group number two? Please tap me to the energy of group number two, please. You have the Knight of Wands. You have the King of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. People compliment how you used to be the one that easily sensitive. You know, when people hurt your feelings or making fun of you, uh, bullying you. But now you don't take things too hard. You let it go. You know, you let it go and you're just focusing on your own, um, you know, abilities, focusing on your own happiness and, you know, you heal yourself and you heal people. you giving example of how to deal with a bully or how to deal with people that hate you. You handle that gracefully. That's what it is. All right. You handle all the bullies, all the haters gracefully and it makes them think twice to walk all over you again now because they might think that it just didn't work out well like they want it to be. You know, Ace of Pentacles, people compliment how you are a nurturing person you know how to nurture relationship friendship connection um, you're someone that really care about 
your own growth. So you really want to grow your talent, skills, and how you overall operate in daily lives. I feel that there's this desire for you to grow what you already have right now or to have more. So that desire to grow is very good. Uh, people compliments that about you. That's also about Mars energy moving forward. Um, and truly are just like what is this ace of pentacles now it is possible that your mars might be in the pentacles element or earth element mars in capricorn mars in taurus or mars in virgo that's possible or mars in the water element with the nine of cups here and the king of cups mars in um, pisces cancer or scorpio all right you don't have to be like that but that's a part of um just people compliments about you with the nine of cups people compliments how you are willing to do the hard work in order to get your dreams come true some of you you got your wish come true some of you already living your dream life some of you already got the things that you prayed for a couple years ago now you're living in it so remember the day you prayed for the things that you have now and remember to keep praying or to keep attracting that manifestation or to keep doing your spiritual practices um, if you have some sort of spiritual practices or religion to do or to follow you know the nine of cups is your energy with abundance you need you know that you're being fulfilled you know that you're being protected you're being provided and your dreams come true people compliments how you actually living your dream life or your life is good you know the king of cups here the king of cups is the symbol of someone that really know how to lead the ship you carry something within you that make other people really admire you you have a way about you to um you know um give some sort of sense of comfort and calm and direction to people you becoming the force to be reckoned with in people's life you might not realize it but you know you got some sort of compliments from your even your own family silently they might not say this in front of you but they find you um, to be very generous caring and really know where to go in life and really willing to work hard for it all right another is you got this night of once you're very courageous all right the way you look is just so much different than what you have inside your heart your mars also probably in the fire element or your moon in the fire element or neptune in the fire element moon mars neptune it's either in uh, Arias Leo Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands you're not afraid to go on your own adventure you embark on your own adventure and you are welcoming change and overcoming a lot of struggles and you are willing to go to the ring of fire in order to pursue your Nine of Cups moment and that's what people really compliments of you due to your um you know, courageous nature and generosity and also your daring presence. All right, group number two, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. If you want to book me for your private reading or to donate to this channel, please click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Hello group number three, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Tatcha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out what compliments do people give you behind your back. Now, right off the bat, based on the image that you picked today, um, because this I also have long distance viewing based on your image, um, there's this energy about you being a bright sunny day. That's like your personality, that's like what people compliments about you. Um, you're someone that really know how to celebrate yourself and celebrate other people. You know how to unite people. You know how to be very comfortable in your own skin. You know how to have fun playing with, you know, with your, um, you know, with your activities. You know how to bind people together. Um, you know how to appreciate your surroundings. Um, you know, people truly see that your life is being blessed or very fortunate. Another thing that I pay attention is you got that sense of friendship and you know um, there's this team spirit in you um, and I feel that another thing is um, people truly see and compliment your warm heart you have a warm heart you have tender feeling um, you also someone that you know really know how to 
be flexible and manifest your desire you also someone that achieve a lot in your life um you are someone that once you enter the room like you're just glowing honey all right so that's what people also compliments about you all right let's sit here see it here please tap me to the energy of group number three please tap me to the energy of group number three what compliments do people give you behind your back you have cancer All right, you have Cancer here, and you have South Node, and you have Mercury. It is possible that your South Node is in Cancer, Mercury in Cancer. That's also possible. It doesn't have to be like that, but that's possible. With Cancer here, even though you're like the shining, glowing sun, maybe your sun, moon, rising is in Cancer, um, I feel that the compliments that people give you behind your back is you are very nurturing. You're very nurturing in a very right portion. You're not smothering people. Um, you're not acting like the mother of everyone in the office. You know what I mean? You're just very also caring for people, but that's to everyone, not just to the people that you like, not just for your inner circle. That's like basically to everyone. People also compliments how they feel comfortable in your presence and you give them sense of protection. You're very protective yourself. Um, you really care about the people around you. And yeah, you're very nurturing basically all right and very comforting you know how to give comfort and pamper other people uh with the cancer here as well um you know regardless whether you have cancer or not maybe your chiron is in cancer right that's possible but this is just um you know this is just people compliments behind your back um you know you're someone that is you know intuitive and compassionate and also someone with a really good good feelings um you can be highly sensitive at times um uh, to your environment to your surrounding um and you also may have these psychic abilities you can pick up other people energies or pick up energies in the room um, another thing that I feel also you're someone that really good with domestic life. Um, you are a little bit stubborn, but you have a great mind. Um, you know, you are very intelligent, my dear group number three. Um, you are someone that, yes, you got that maternal energy, self-care, but you're very intelligent. Now, contrary to the popular belief, um, you are very artistic, all right, with this cancer placement. Some of you really good playing musical instrument or you love listening to the music a singer or you love going to opera you love to going to art museum you love arts music um you know movie or just indulge in artistic pursuits or have hobbies in artistic or musical pursuits all right um another thing is that i feel um you're someone that you you know you can be moody sometimes but people just compliment you that you are extremely emotionally intelligent you know now with the south note here this is something that you are mastered in past life i kind of feel that people compliments how when they met you it seems like the jafu feeling you got people that feeling of the jafu it seems like people already knew you before or that kind of feeling that you left on people that kind of impression that they some some sort of already knew you before or maybe that's because you are friendly you are nurturing with your cancer energy or what people project you to be like the cancer that they compliments you behind your back but with the south note here people compliments how the first time you meet with people you're very friendly regardless whether you want to pursue this relationship uh, for being a best friend being a close friend or not you know how to be very friendly to strangers um and you know this is something that you mastered in past life people got that feeling again the jafu all right very strong coming from this group now with mercury here it is possible your mercury um is very dominant in your placement please find out your mercury in your birth chart some of you might have a very strong mercury in the fire sign mercury in aries leo or sagittarius all right mercury is about the way you think learn network and communicate 
People compliment the way you communicate with people. You have a rare ability to communicate indirectly and directly. People sometimes can get a hint that you talking about them without talking about them at all. And sometimes your caption on social media really know how to t hit the target with your ability to communicate and think with your own Mercury sign. Mercury also someone that is very intelligent. Your mind is very intelligent. The way you process information is very brilliant. You know, um, some of you probably a really good student as well, or you love learning something new. You love learning something new about people. You love asking questions. You're being very curious. People compliments that being around you, they know what to talk because you can talk different kind of topics. All right. You are someone with a very broad knowledge. You probably well travel as well with this card. Um, you're someone that really good in networking with people, regardless whether you are an introvert or extrovert or an ambivert. It doesn't matter, but you know how to be honest with every connection that you have and you not necessarily want to keep connection that you don't feel comfortable with with the, for the long time because you got that cancer um you're not pretentious at all. People compliments that about you. It's just very fun and you're interesting to talk to. All right. Um, there's this new way of thinking that people find to be interesting the way you think. The way you think is a very interesting group number three. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> please tap me to the energy of group number three, please. What compliments do people give you behind your back for my viewers that pick group number three, please? You have the bear and sitter. And you have the owl and hope. With the owl and hope here, um, I feel that, you know, people find you to be very wise. You gain some sort of knowledge with this Mercury as well. And your south node, you know, your past life truly teach you a lot of things that you remember until now. Um, it seems like you learn a lot from your mistake, from your past. You learn a lot with the connection that you have with people. You know that once you did something and they didn't reciprocate back, you tend to just stop uh, giving um, because you are very wise. You got that wisdom of the owl. Um, you know, you learn your place in people's lives and you know how to not offer extending yourself because not everyone truly gonna uh, pursue you, truly gonna do what you want them to do. And it seems like you don't want to be the only one that fighting for people right um you got that wisdom absolutely with the south node and the connection that you have with the cancer it's just being very intuitive nurturing but sometimes you learn that you not need to offer extending yourself in the cancer abilities right the ability to understand people because not everyone decided to understand you some people just be there to misunderstood you or no matter how many times you try to make them happy you cannot please everyone you know what i mean so you learn that in, in an early in, in early days of your life or you know early years of your life or in school and so now you can be very understanding of people that cannot fulfill um, your expectation but at the same time you're not expecting people or you lower your expectation that kind of wisdom is something that people compliments about you you know when people cannot making it to the meeting whatever they cancel it you're being okay you're being very understanding but at the same time the next time you're not gonna go out of your way so much with that kind of people all right so yes you're not judging but people treat you need to no need to, need to treat you carefully the next time because you're not gonna waste your time all right the bear and sitter with leadership people can sense that you are a great leader or you can be a great leader all right you are a great parent yourself and you know how to be a great parent now another thing that i feel um with this is is the idea of people trying to be in your group. You know, when you stand alone, you're not afraid to stand alone, right? Um, you're not afraid to 
pursue your own desire people wants to follow you people naturally wants to follow you or copy what you do because they see an example in you they see that you are a perfect leader a great leader because your caring nature make other people feel protected all right remember the cancer is a protection you're 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 uh, you have this ability to give people a good hug all right people compliments that also about you group number um three right all right let's see it here let me put this stuff over here you see here please tap me to the energy of group number three please tap me to the energy of group number three what compliments do people give you behind your back you have the king of swords you have the nine of pentacles you have the page of swords you have the two of swords and you have the page of pentacles page pentacles page of swords the page energy is youthful energy all right no wonder people might feel that you are someone with a youthful spirit um your youthful energy just never gonna go anyway you know you're destined to have that great energy all right all right now let's discuss here um all right we sit here now with the uh, with the king of swords here group number three um people compliments the way you talk the way you think um the way you process your information and teach other people all right the king of swords also well-respected person you are a master in using your sword you're a master in using your skill you're a master in using your talent people compliments how you truly have a logical mind you can be confronted with any problem and manage to keep a clear logical mind the bird's eye reflects your ability to react quickly and intuitively. So people cannot be as you're around. You're very powerful. People can sense that. People compliment that. Even though your look might not even feel look powerful, but your core souls, the way you react, your mental adaptness, your intellectual power, you're insightful, you're a quick learner, a problem solver, and you're someone with a great ethics. That's what people compliment about you. Now, with this card here, Mm. I feel that people with the nine of pentacles, people kind of like, you know, they might find you to be very interesting to talk to. All right. Um, and just like. And just kind of like really want to um, be the be the light of people's eyes, you know. Um, you are someone that other people might want to have in their group, and you know, someone that other people might like to have. 
uh, you know, for a very long time. Now, with the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, um, you are very, in, you know, you, you have the pursuit of intellectual power and material power. You really want to make yourself secured and you also want to make yourself knowledgeable. Um, you know, you are an in intellectual uh, person and very um, hardworking person at the same time. You are smart and know how to get what you want with working hard for it. Um, you know, regardless of your profession, um, you are going to be you are going to be a really good example for the people that coming after you because you know how to survive. You've been through it all. And when you're doing it, you're doing it with a full heart. Um, some of you are just very intelligent, very smart, very smart. You survived a lot of things. People just in admiration of the way you think, your brain, I mean, also your hard work, your hard work energy in nurturing your desire, nurturing, um, you know, what you do for a living, your profession, your family, um, you know, your loved ones, your connection, your work your you know ambition that's kind of thing and because the nine of pentacles is the result of your work the result of your dedication you enjoy the hard work of your uh you know life um people compliment that about you you look very fabulous you look very sophisticated you look very abundant this is like the perfect example of the image that you pick um you look you're very luxurious you have that expensive taste and people kind of admire you with the way you look as well now another thing with the nine of pentacles here is um you're someone with a beauty and you are someone that really know how to uh, be very financially secured in this lifetime. You're going to learn that a lot, especially from your past life. You're going to learn that a lot. I can't really connect with this group, right? Group number three. Um, and you, you, people just compliment how good you look. All right, you look very abundant, you attract abundance, you got that financial success, or this is what your life gonna be in the near future. Um, you're gonna have a fulfilled life, that independent person, and someone that rely on yourself, self-reliance. You're very confident, even though you probably live with your spouse, or your spouse provide for you, or in the future you have a spouse, you're also very independent. Some of you still single right now, and you're okay being that as well. You know what I mean? So there's our different perspective. It's gonna be different for each one of us, but one thing for sure, your self-reliance, your refinement, your independence, and you know, financial success is is there in the cards. And with the two of swords here, you're someone that really good in making decision and thinking and you know, um, think carefully before making decision and very wise uh, in order for you to make the right decision. People compliments that about you. All right, group number three, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. If you want to book me for your private reading or to donate to this channel, please click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.